Hello everyone, this is Dance Crochet Part 3 and today we are continuing our adult panda hat. In this video you will learn how to make the ears, nose and mouth of our lovely panda hat. Before we begin I would like to inform you that further on in the video you will see a baby's panda hat. Sorry but I didn't have time to film the ears, nose and mouth on our adult panda hat because it was a gift for a friend. Don't worry though, these steps are very easy to follow. Now let's begin with our panda's ear. To start our panda's ear, you'll have to attach a slip knot to your hook. I'm assuming by now you know this very easy step to do. In case you don't remember, just go back to my very first video. And now you'll have to chain four. After you've chained four, you'll have to put your hook into the first chain to form a ring. Now, this time we're going to form a ring a little bit differently. As you can see, I'm adding uh, the yarn over the hook. I'm passing it first under the first loop. I'm adding more yarn. Passing it again under the first loop. And adding yarn again. and passing it under the two loops. Now you'll have to pass the inside loop over the first loop that is on our hook and you'll have to chain three. That is two and three and now you'll have to make 12 half double crochet all around when you get to the end of our ring. If you remember well, simply you just add yarn on your hook, pass it through our little ring over there, grab yarn, pull it up, add yarn and put it under our three loops. So this step you actually going to repeat it 12 times. Remember to count it until you get to the end. Our next step now is to add two half double crochet in every single stitch and we're going to repeat this step all around until we get to our last stitch. I'm going now to fast forward the video and I'll meet you at the end. Now that we're done with our round and I mean by round meaning uh, when we were uh, adding in every single stitch a two half double crochet uh, we're gonna simply put the hook back into the same stitch as you can see on the video grab the yarn pull it up add the yarn and put it under our two loops we are going to chain one now and then we're gonna add the yarn over our hook and go back to the same stitch, grab the yarn, pull it up, add the yarn and put it under our three loops. Now what you're going to do is continue doing this in every single stitch, meaning that you're going to add a one half double crochet in every single stitch all around until we reach to the end. Remember, once again, I'm forwarding the video and I'll meet you at the end. Now that we're at the end of our round, we're going to put the hook in the same stitch, add the yarn over the hook, pull it up, add more yarn and put it under our two loops and chain one. As you can see, we're nearly there for our panda's ear. Now what we're going to do is going to add the yarn, go to our next stitch, 
grab the yarn, pull it up, add it, and pull it under our three loops. And repeat the same step all around. So simply we are just putting a one half double crochet in every single stitch the same way we did before until we reach to the end of our last stitch. Now you can see how our panda's ear is being formed. It's up to you whether you want that size or simply repeat the step of adding one half double crochet in every single stitch for the size you desire for your panda's ear. As you can see I have already made one for you to see how it looks like when you have reached the size of the panda's ear you wish to have. Remember your next step is to get a needle and some black yarn to sew your panda's ear on the side of your hat. Now for a quick glimpse this is our baby panda hat as you can see I've sewn the ears on the side. Now we are going to make our panda's nose. So to begin our panda's nose you will have to attach a slip knot. And you will have to chain one two, three. After you chain three, join your hook into the first chain to form a ring. After forming the ring, you will have to chain one. At this point, making the panda's nose is a really easy step compared to the ear. Uh, what you'll have to do now after chaining one is simply add a uh, yarn on your hook go into the ring, grab the yarn, pull it up, add the yarn and put it under your two loops. So basically you're going to keep repeating this step as many times you wish until you form uh, a panda's nose. Um, you will start realizing it when it looks a little bit more roundish. After that, I will show you what you'll have to do next. Now we have officially formed our panda's nose. Uh, now you'll just need to cut the yarn. Mm, let's see, okay, I cut it. And simply pass the tail through the loop and just make it as tight as you can. On the other hand, I could cut it a little bit shorter, but I think it's better off to just keep the tail and just put it into the back side of the nose where it's not going to bother us that much, especially after we start uh, to sew the panda's nose onto the hat. Now you'll need uh, a bit of black yarn and your needle. Um, what I prefer to do is always make a knot at the end uh, of our yarn. I think better off is to make another second one in that case so it doesn't pass through the hat. And now we can begin. Uh, I usually put the needle uh, a little bit on the outside of the nose so I'm sure it's in and tuck a little bit the tail inside the back side of the nose. Um, now I'm going to show you a hat that I've done before but I always use it to make my examples on it and of course to show you how to sew uh, a nose onto uh, an adult hat. So after we've passed the needle through the middle of our panda's nose, we're simply going to put the needle in the middle. Remember you're supposed to have the eyes uh, next to it. So the nose is supposed to be a little bit underneath uh, uh, your panda's eyes. And that again depends how you want to form your panda's 
nose and how close you want it to the eye. So after we've passed through our needle, we're going to pass it again up from the inside and pull it out from the middle side of the panda's nose. So y what you want to do right now is just repeat the step until you think that your panda's nose is tight enough and then I'll show you how to form the mouth of the panda. So after you've made your panda nose tight enough um, a good idea is to put the needle from the inside of the hat and of course in the middle because you want the mouth to be straight and simply what I'm going to show you now is that I'm going to put again the needle a little further up from the point that we have the yarn already I'm not going to pull it through all the way I'm going to leave a little loop and then I'm going to put the needle back from the inside of the hat a little bit further down pass it through the loop pull it tight and as you can see you're forming a straight line so this you have to repeat it about three times and then when you get to the point you want then you'll have to repeat it again three times on on each side as you can see our panda hat is ready and here is a quick picture of our lovely panda hat if you like the videos subscribe like me on Facebook and follow me on Pinterest thank you for watching dance crochet hope you enjoyed making an adult panda hat with me and please be free to show me your own creations by uploading images on my Facebook page or send it to my email address remember to check the info underneath in the description section where you will find links for my Facebook page and many more